hello guys this is question 3.52 and the statement of it is a coin is tossed twice let z denote the number of heads on the first toss and w the total number of heads on the two tosses okay so with the passage of this question let me write the given data as well okay so we have two tosses the total number of tosses are two okay and z denote the number of heads on the first toss so z denotes the number of heads in the first toss which can be zero or one okay and similarly w the total number of heads on the two toss so w is it can be zero no toss no heads one and two and 2 is the maximum value in which 2 tosses has the heads as well. So now in order to see that if the coin is unbalanced and a head has a 40% chance of occurring which means the probability of heads is 0.4 which ultimately says that the probability of tails is 1 minus 0.4 and that is 0.6 okay find the joint probability distribution of w and z okay so that is part a let me solve part a of our question first this is solution okay and in part a of our question let us denote the joint probability distribution of it as f w and z okay where what is w that is the total number of heads in the two toises while z is the head in the first toss okay so values of z can be 0 and 1 while it can be 0 1 and 2 okay so now in order to find the probability of any event here what can we do we have to multiply the probability of heads in the two events so for this also let us have a table in which let us denote the Okay, this is a table and here let us have z and here w so now the values of them are the z values are from 0 to 1 while w's are 0 1 and 2 okay also let me draw it here as well okay it is like this one now in order to find the probability or f zero zero what does it mean that the number of heads in the first toss is zero and the total number of heads are also zero so therefore the two tails has occurred so therefore i have to multiply probability of tail multiplied by probability of tails and that would be 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.6 which is 0. 0.36 okay so the value here let me represent it with this one this is 0. 36 okay similarly now f the total number of heads here are 1 while the number of occurrence of the heads in the first toss is 0 okay so this is what we have in which we can see that the second one will have the heads okay so therefore i will have here probability of heads multiplied by the probability of tail okay so it would be 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.6 so it would be 0 0.24 let me write it here as well so this would be 0 0.24 okay now this one is not possible why is it not possible because it is saying us that let me write it with this color that we have the total number of heads equal to two while in the first event or in first toss we have got zero heads so it is not possible because in the second in the second trial we cannot get a cumulative two heads okay so therefore this one is not possible so therefore we will leave it as it is and it is not possible in this experiment now similarly let me have here this one and here it is saying that the cumulative is let me write here as well this one that it is saying as that the summation is zero while in the first 
trial we have got one head so it is again wrong so it is again not possible here as well so therefore we will leave this one as well now this one here we have f one one in which it is saying that in the first trial we have one head and the total number of heads after the two trials we have uh, the total number of heads equal to one so therefore it is saying that in the first trial we have one heads while in the second one we have tail okay so let me write their probability so it would be 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 so it would be 0 0.24 okay so let me write it here the value so it is 0 0.24 here as well this last one which is the value which saying that the total number of heads we have got are two in which the first trial has given me one heads okay so what does it mean it means that the two tosses has ended up with two heads so therefore we will have here the probability of heads multiplied by the probability of heads okay so here we will get 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.4 and it is 0. 1 6 okay let me write it here as well so 0 0.16 okay so that's what that is basically the joint probability distribution for the event which is given here okay so that is the solution of part a now let us proceed to part b of our question and it is saying that to find the marginal distribution of w okay let me solve it here to find the marginal distribution of w let me have here w and all the values of w so we can see that the values of w are 0 1 2 and its marginal distribution let me represent it with g of w so here it is now in order to find the marginal distribution of it we know that what do we have to do here we will add all the values for 0 here okay then all the values for 1 here and all the values for 2 here so adding them together 0 0.36 plus 0 here we will get what here we will have 0 0.36 because 0 0.36 plus 0. W for column 1 here we have 0 0.24 and plus 0 0.24 this is a single column. So adding them together we will get 0 0.48 okay and the last one here we have for 2 we have here 0 and this is 0 0.16. So here let me move it somehow here as well. So it is 2 so adding it them together I will get 0 0.4 one six okay so it is here this is for two this is for one and that's it and adding them together i will also get that we will have here one which is basically the condition from the for probability distribution and that is what that is the marginal distribution for w now for part c we have to find the marginal distribution of z which is here the row wise items so here we have z okay and let me represent the values of it as h of z which is the marginal distribution for z and the two values of z are 0 and 1 okay now looking at it we can see here that for this 0 we have to add these values together so this is 0 0.36 plus 0 0.24 plus 0 so we will get here 0 0.60 okay now similarly for z one here we can see that we have to add all the elements in this row so here adding them together this is 0 0 0.24 and 0 0.16 so ultimately we will get here what the value of it will be 0 0.40 so that is what that is the solution of part c of our question now the last part of our question is the probability that at least one heads occur so this is part d and we have to find the probability that the number of heads are greater or equal to one okay so here we can also find it out by one minus probability of uh, heads which are less than one which is that the probability that heads is equal to zero and this is only the value which is here so let me put it here and it would be 0 0.36 okay subtracting it from this one we will get 0 0.64 and that is what that is the solution of part d of our question okay so here we can see that we have solved our problem in which we had this is part a of our question 
this was part B, part C, and this is part D of our question. So you have seen that how to find the joint probability distribution from a given statement, and then marginal distribution, and then conventional probabilities of certain events from that table. So if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment box. See you soon.